Yo, what's up, YouTube homies? Uh, Trey to Main here again. Quick update video for you. Um, I posted uh, this video here four days ago, uh, just kind of covering Ethereum. I obviously had my Ethereum live stream uh, that I did uh, three days ago on Sunday. Uh, today is uh, Wednesday, uh, and we finally have broken out. We've been waiting for this for a while, seems like forever, uh, but really happy with, uh, you know, kind of sticking to my guns here uh, and uh, obviously reaping the rewards in terms of, you know, being long and catching uh, ca catching a large part of this, uh, you know, breakout move here. So uh, in that last video, we were trading right around here. Uh, in the last two videos, actually, one was here, first video, live stream was this day. Uh, and it was just a matter of time, in my opinion, that we broke out. One of the things I'd mentioned on Twitter and on YouTube is that, you know, this current consolidation reminded me a lot of, you know, what we saw going on here. Um, and I know it doesn't look like a one for one, but it's very similar, at least to me. The biggest difference here is we made a higher high here, right? Instead of just kind of a triple top, which is like what we did here, we had kind of more of a more of a more of a triple top i guess you could argue that's slightly higher high but basically it was you know multiple taps at this resistance level here uh and then you know chopping people up are we gonna break out no are we gonna break out no are we gonna break out no finally did big leg up small pullback then another leg so um you know really glad uh, with kind of like I said you know my conviction on this one and, and sticking to the long and not getting shook out and uh, hopefully some of you guys were able to participate as well I mean it was just a matter of time uh, for this thing to break out however you want to chart it uh, you know if you want to say okay well we've got our little you know kind of wedge thing here that ended up breaking up or we've got you know some sort of uh, some sort of you know consolidation whatever the fuck you want to call it breakout trade uh, to me this entire trade was predicated on strength with SUS F uh, BTC the, that pair and that's something I've discussed in multiple videos now go watch that previous video for more in-depth explanation uh, but what we're seeing uh, is uh, altcoins versus BTC that look bullish leading to large moves on the altcoin USD pair and that is the recipe for success. So when we had this bottom form that we've been tracking for literally months on FUSD here or FBTC here, it was just a matter of time uh, that the USD pair, you know, had that big leg up that was kind of boosted by the fact that the altcoin itself was going to help perform Bitcoin. Uh, is this going to last the entire month? I don't know. But the bottom line is, uh, it was, uh, you know, something that I've been tracking. I've been sharing with you guys on Twitter, on YouTube, uh, in my streams, and I've just been kind of waiting. We had this move up and then this critical SR flip uh, is what we talked about in the last video. Wanted to see this kind of SR flip hold here. We had a beautiful retest of this weekly order block here, kind of an SR flip, right? Previous top becomes a bottom. And then you look here on the daily, beautiful retest, very nice wick. This is literally the day I recorded the video. We were right here uh, of this daily order block, very nice reaction, and now we're moving up. So the last couple of days we've seen this move up. Consequently, last couple of days we've seen Ethereum USD finally break the fuck out. So I'm super stoked. Um, you know, looking at the uh, USD pair here, or the BTC pair here, excuse me, um, this is going to be super key. Something that you can do uh, when we're trading in price discovery, because we've made an all-time high on FUSD, uh, is you can use the BTC pair to determine where the top is going to be. I'm not saying the top of the bull market, maybe eventually, uh, but I'm just saying you know the next local top or the next area where we're going to consolidate. And so you don't really need to worry about taking profit here until this pair comes into resistance. And to me, the most important area that jumps out on the chart, obviously the area we're into right now uh, is you know, potential resistance. Uh, but I don't really think that this is gonna cause much of an issue for us here. I'm actually much more interested in this 
previous bottom here, this little weekly block that kind of sent us down into this bottom accumulation range. I think this is the draw. Can we consolidate here? Sure, but looking at the daily, to me, this looks like a perfect retest and it's about to make a higher high. Uh, so I'm expecting price to move up towards this, uh, you know, 55K Satoshi mark, and I'm expecting the USD pair to continue to show strength. Uh, and I would not be surprised at all if within the next few days to maybe a week or so, we see $2,000 uh, on the F USD pair. So I'm very excited about how this has turned out. I've made a bunch of tweets about it. I've made a bunch of videos about it. Um, you know, waiting for this level to break. I talked about it being kind of the inverse bouncy ball, right? Three taps here, weaker rejection each time. Boom, we finally broke through. And again, this is very similar to the Bitcoin all time high breakout, right? Where we had multiple taps at the all time high level, right? Huge breakout and then a consolidation. So you can't necessarily just expect uh, this thing, nor do I think you should to, you know, kind of come back and give you this beautiful retest. Uh, this is a really strong breakout coupled with how strong FBTC looks. I would not be surprised at all uh, if this thing, uh, you know, continues to push up, uh, you know, kind of parabolically before it even begins to consolidate again. So for something like this, if you're not in, where do you want to get in? You want to wait for some sort of low time frame pullback. And that might be it. Perfect example might be right here. That might have been all you get for today, right? So it's about 11 o'clock at night here where I am. Uh, this could leg up from right here, right? There's your pullback, boom, right? Here's your pullback, boom. As much as I would love for some big deep retest here to get long, that seems too easy to me. I don't think that happens. Like a lot of people got shaken out here. Uh, and I think uh, what's more likely is more vertical price action towards $2,000. Next area of interest to me is probably around 17, 17,500. Uh, and that's just gonna be a, you know, kind of a fib extension here, right? So if I take the range um, and then I put on, what do I want here? Put on my fib extensions. Wanted. Here we go. Uh, so nice little fib extension here. Nice little fib extension here. Um, so again, these are areas that we could potentially, uh, you know, see some sort of consolidation pullback at. I don't know if we will, but there'll be areas that I'm watching right here and right here. I don't know if those drew, did they? Fuck, of course not. Um, but, oh, wait, hold on. They're just black, that makes sense. Um, there you go. There you go. These are two areas of interest for me, maybe in between these two levels here, another leg up, consolidate before continued upside. I'm expecting 2K soon. Uh, and then ultimately not looking to short this thing at all, uh, but if there is gonna be some sort of medium term top, uh, it's going to be when this pair comes into resistance. And I think this area that I've been talking about is gonna be what you're looking for. So when you have a super strong trend, like we do right now on FB, on FUSD, unfortunately, I don't think you're gonna get, right? This is a clean ass breakout on the daily. I would love to buy it here. You know, there's your 70.5 you know, pullback, da, 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 da. I don't think you're getting that. I think that's wishful thinking. I think if you wanna get involved on this thing, you need to be looking at the lower time frames and just buy little pullbacks because that might be all you get. Uh, you know, risk defined, stop there. Your entry is at the order block there. Let's see what happens. If you get stopped out, great, you try again here. Uh, but I think hoping for that super deep pullback, is it possible? Of course, less likely I think though. Um, another thing I wanna quickly talk about, uh, cause you know, I'm in an, uh, uh, a Litecoin position uh, cause I'm stupid. Um, like I mentioned, you need to look at your altcoins versus BTC to determine if it makes sense to be longing that, you know, altcoin versus just longing Bitcoin itself. Uh, you can do the same thing with Ethereum. So when Ethereum is super strong, right? It's kind of the king of the alts, whatever you want to call it. Um, does it make sense for me to long LTC instead of Ethereum? If the LTC, exact same logic, if the LTC Ethereum chart is bullish, LTC will probably outperform. If it's bearish, 
it's gonna underperform. So taking a look here, um, I would say that this is bearish. Uh, um, so am I a little early to the LTC party? Absolutely. Basically what I wanna see here is, you know, get back above this low here, right? If we can get back above this low, start putting in some bullish price action, that might finally be uh, what we need to see for the LTC USD pair to finally, you know, play catch up because it's been, you know, seriously lagging uh, in the month of January compared to Ethereum, compared to Bitcoin, compared to a bunch of other fucking coins. Uh, so something to watch for sure, as everything is looking bearish, you don't wanna get caught in the laggard. So compare that coin that you wanna long versus BTC versus Ethereum to know if it's a good idea to long. Look at SNX here. We have SNX chatting. Uh, everything is down. This thing is up 7% today, right? On the USD pair, it looks pretty fucking bullish here. What is SNX BTC doing? Well, it's looking pretty bullish as well, right? You look at the high time frame here. This is definitely in an uptrend versus Bitcoin, right? So longing this right now makes more sense than probably longing Litecoin. But I have a glutton for punishment apparently, uh, so I keep longing these fucking shitty laggards. But don't be me. Uh, do as I say, not as I do. Uh, and make sure that you're doing this type of cross market analysis so you can make sure you're not getting stuck in some shitty laggard while everything else around you is mooning. We've got Ave, Have, Ave, 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 Ave. I don't know how to fucking pronounce it, uh, but this thing is absolutely ripping today, ripped yesterday. Uh, and if you look at the Ave BTC pair, that's all the explanation you need. This thing is in a monster uptrend. And you can see all of these things, monster uptrend. Well, guess what FBTC is gonna look like fucking soon. It's gonna be majorly, majorly monster uh, uptrend here soon. This looks unbelievably bullish. That's why I'm still super fucking bullish on F. So hopefully you guys have made some money with me. Uh, I think I've done a really good job of tracking this shit in my Ethereum and live stream chills as well as on Twitter. So check that shit out if you wanna kinda know where I, uh, uh, stand and how I've been analyzing this thing since August really is when we first started tracking this on video uh, and it's played out very well so hopefully y'all are making some money hopefully the second month of 2021 is uh, treating you guys good so far and hopefully we can just start trending again I would love Bitcoin to fucking break out here it's looking pretty good uh, we reclaimed the middle of the range here which I think is bullish uh, and, uh, you know, we're reclaiming some, you know, key SR here. Uh, so, you know, resistance, resistance. Looks like we're putting in a higher high. The low might be in. Uh, and if this thing starts trending again, overall, I think that's just great for the crypto market. I would much rather this break out and start trending as opposed to keep going sideways. Uh, but at the very least, uh, even if this thing does keep going sideways, Ethereum is absolutely gonna go on a ripper here. It already has. This is a fucking huge move since my last video. My last video that I did on this was on February 1st. You know, we're up almost 30% since then and that's exactly what I talked about. Uh, so really excited with how things are shaping up for February. Uh, and yeah, be back again with another video, uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe on the weekend and, uh, we'll talk to you guys then. Thanks.